Hey yo and welcome back. In this digital electronic series we're actually going to be covering elements of computer science which technically can be implemented in a number of ways using mechanical systems as Babbage and Ada Lovelace first did or analog electronics such as in this bomb site. Practically speaking however computer science has been most successfully and most widely implemented using solid state digital electronics. So you may ask, where is the line between computer science and electronic engineering? Now feel free to debate this in the comment section, but for this series we'll consider computer science to be everything from the logical ones and zeros up. How those ones and zeros are represented physically uh, as either 0 and 5 volts or 0 and 3.3 volts or even negative 11 and plus 11 volts. All of that we'll consider to be an issue of electronic engineering. Now you may ask, why ones and zeros? Well, this is, there's a number of reasons for this. First of which is that the smallest piece of information that can be operated on is a bit, a value that can either be in one of two states, off or on, black or white, one or zero. A bit could just as legitimately be referred to as a ping or a pong. But using one and zero will be much more natural when it comes to adding and subtracting multiple bits to and from each other. Adding and subtracting bits? But I've only ever done digital arithmetic using, you know, zero. That is all. Well, going from digits to bits is as easy as number theory. Don't worry, don't worry. It used to be known as just arithmetic. So let's start with the familiar base 10 numbering system that we all learned in elementary school and go from there. So come along with us as we go on a journey from base 10 to base 8 to base 2 binary and all the way up to base 16 hexadecimal. Feel free to click that subscribe button so you don't miss the next episodes as we get a little bit more in depth into what's necessary to go from digital logic all the way up to a computer processor. For that we'll be using our Yup 5108 microcontroller designed in Logisim Evolution which I highly recommend as a tool for those interested in learning digital electronics and computer science. 